The day after California told Uber to halt the testing of its driverless cars, Hyundai gave us a brief ride in an autonomous Ionic Electric. The trip was mostly uneventful, our driver, engineer didn't hit anyone, and, unlike Uber's, Hyundai's car didn't run any red lights. You may think that's faint praise, but at the speed of advancement we take nothing for granted. More than once during our ride around a pre-mapped, all-right turn route in Las Vegas, the Ionic had to sort things out for itself, and the longer you ride the more you realize the scope of data we humans process without noticing. This Ionic was identified only by its Korea spec origins, dual charging ports for fast and regular recharge and no side marker lights, and Nevada's autonomous vehicle license plate. Tourists were completely unaware that it was driving itself. The autonomous Ionic uses one 140-degree and two 110-degree IBA LIDAR units in the front fascia, plus a camera array inside the cabin at the top of the windshield. A single camera is used for traffic light detection, with stereo units for the driving assistance. According to Hyundai, the autonomous gear detects objects knee-high but also will not drive into a low-hanging tree branch. We're also told the system works in rain and snow, citing the All Conditions Approval Certificate from Nevada, though that center front sensor looks prime for snow packing and heavy stuff. Essentially, one processor collects all the input data and combines it to a singular view, and a second processor tells the car what to do about it. Hyundai notes that minimal system power consumption was the primary target. The cabin sports the prototype standard large red kill switch, an extra display atop the center of the dash, and two real-time monitors hanging behind the rear seats. The dash display is there so human drivers know the car is aware of its surroundings, it shows traffic lights as red or green, yellow is not detected but it will not panic stop if it loses a green light, speed limit, vehicle speed, route, a steering wheel to denote autonomous operation, and pedestrians detected. One rear monitor shows what the traffic light camera sees, the other what the LiDAR units are picking up, from road curbs to people.